Hi there, I'm Courtney. This is Solave Holistic, and you're watching another two-minute meditation. I wanted to talk a little bit about self-compassion. Um, it is something that I'm noticing I'm integrating into my work uh, with my coaching clients and also into my mindfulness practice more and more often. And I'm finding that it seems to lie at the root of everything um, that we struggle with. We condemn ourselves so much. We hold ourselves to unrealistic standards. We put ourselves second over and over and over again, sometimes third or fourth even. We neglect self-care. We tell ourselves a million lies about who and what we are and what we're worth. And so I find that self-compassion provides such a wonderful platform to start to address some of those concerns. But I think there's something that we're kind of missing the point on um, when we talk about how we can um, kind of heal ourselves from all of those wounds. And one of the things that I hear so frequently is people struggling with an inability to forgive themselves for mistakes they think they've made or for um, mistakes they really did make or just for not living up to these expectations that we place on ourselves. And what I've come to realize through this work is that I don't think self-forgiveness is the answer. I think self-affection, self-compassion, self-love, self-nurturing is the answer. I think when we approach it through this lens of I have to forgive myself so that I can feel better, there is a um, there is a nuance of wrongdoing in that, right? We forgive people that we think have done something wrong. And maybe part of really what we need to be doing is acknowledging from go that we didn't do anything wrong, that we are just humans doing the best we can every second of every day. And so I love this idea of approaching those injured parts of ourselves, those hard, struggling, um, wounded parts of ourselves with just love, with just you're okay and you're not alone and I'm with you instead of I forgive you, which just has such a different texture to it. So sit with me now, close your eyes, get comfy. And just sit with that idea for just a minute that you are okay. And maybe you can even turn that phrasing inward I am okay. I'm loved. I know that moments like this can be scary, can be difficult. I know that I've experienced some challenges. I know that things haven't always gone the way that I wanted them to. But I embrace all of that. And I know that I am okay. I am loved and I am worthy. And I'm doing the best I can. And I know that I'm not alone. When you feel ready, you can open your eyes. Practice that as much as you need to. You can direct it towards your, yourself in this moment as you are, or maybe you can think back on a particularly painful time and envision yourself at that point in your life and give that love and that support to that version of you. You've done nothing that needs forgiving but we could all use a little bit more love. Thanks for being with me today. I'll see you next time.